while I was uh, listening, um, I kept asking myself, um, where do dreams go? Uh, and I was listening hard to Obrar when he was saying, this does not represent a mandate. And I was wondering, uh, what happens with the uh, dreams that are coming out today? Um, I think maybe there's an agenda on both sides um, for the for the president for the uh, global council. They're going to have to make decisions in the next couple of years, um, and they've got to go in one direction or another. And I think what was said today schools them in where the grassroots people of URI are and what directions uh, we want to go. So in one sense, it's a mandate. It's a broad mandate, but I think it is a mandate for lots of things. Um, on the side of, that's uh, not on the stage, but it's, uh, giving the dreams, there's something about a dream that has, uh, it either has power or it doesn't have power. Uh, usually, if you have a dream and there's resonance to it that's electric, a uh, dream almost comes through immediately, even though uh, a lot of ramifications have to be worked through, uh, it, it catches hold right away if it's authentic. Others kind of like a daydream. <laughs> There's a difference between day, daydream and a dream. Um, some of the things here can be uh, tacked on to things that already exist. Some of the things here are going to have a life of their own, uh, like the youth component. It's talking about a council, talking about participating in uh, four satellites, talking about having journeys, talking about having retreats on um, the internet, uh, that puts an enormous challenge on somebody. And um, the people who are stepping forward to that challenge, uh, my, my hat is off to you, and uh, nothing could be better for you or I than for you to embrace that dream and, and uh, see it through to its uh, perfection. All of this makes me think of, uh, if, we, if we took 10% of the dreams and tried to make them come true, uh, you'd have to put some backbone behind them. You can't just talk about a dream. You've got to say, uh, where, where's the structure? Where's the money? Um, where's the organizational design? Uh, how are we going to get from here to there? And who's in charge? Um, I remember two things. Number one, I remember giving a talk at Oxford in 1996 on the coming United Religions, and I was almost booed off the stage. I might have been <laughs> booed, but I didn't leave the stage anyway. Um, and one of the objections is that uh, people kept saying there, sh there should be no bureaucracy. And I understand that the United Religions Initiative should not have a great bureau bureaucracy. But if there's not sufficient bureaucracy to handle the communication, to handle the leadership training, to handle um, uh, pilot projects, to fund global councils or global assemblies uh, if we don't have that uh, if we don't have enough an adequate um, structure we're going to be in we're going to be in trouble because we're going to grow and if the body grows and the bones don't grow you're you just kind of flop around uh, the bones have to grow and the body has to grow in order for you to come to maturity and the other thing is money when I went around the world in 1996, 97, 93, 94, 95, and I, I started out as an absolute innocent. And I looked around and I went to every meeting I could possibly go in the world and I came to one conclusion. 
that international interfaith means money. If you have money, you do it. And if you don't have money, you sit around and talk about it. Um, we got a long way to go. If, if a fraction of these things happen, an enormous amount of money is going to have to be raised along the way. We, have, we can be wise about money. We can be um, uh, skinny and tough and lean uh, a machine. That's great. That's what we ought to do. Uh, but we've got, um, we've got to get serious about money across the board. Uh, the great thing about URI and money is that the cooperation circles are self-supporting financially and by George, uh, the cooperation circles raise the money for their circle and uh, raise some money for regional things and they are fabulous. Once we get the dreams that are here, here, once we get th those dreams, or even a, part, a portion of the dreams that came out of here, uh, where's the dream going to go? Is it going to be the? Is it going to be the global council? Is it going to be the president's council? Is it going to be the youth council? Um, where's the dream going to go? Uh, it's <laughs> the things that were said were genuine enough that need to be taken very seriously and be taken to the ne next step to see uh, if they're real. And if they're real, where are we going to put them in the structure and how are we going to raise the money for them? Um, I was very excited about what I heard and um, um, I think we're on the right track. Thank you.